OSAS 18001 specifies the requirements for a health and safety management system and what it does is it enables organisations to implement a policy and objectives which takes account of their legal and regulatory requirements and information about health and safety risks. A safe and healthy workplace doesn't come about by accident and what OSAS 18001 does is it provides organisations with a robust system to help them to identify hazards, estimate risks and put in place measures to mitigate the consequences. OSAS 18001 is suitable for organisations of all sizes that want to set up formal procedures for managing health and safety risks and some of the benefits are improved health and safety performance and a way of keeping your people safe through the regular assessment process which will help you continually monitor and improve your health and safety performance. Fewer accidents and staff absenteeism, reduce liability through a reduction in the cost of fines and civil actions and a tender and competitive advantage. Our customers have told us that having a robust health and safety management system in place has allowed them to meet tender pre-qualification requirements, opening up new markets and allowing them to win new business. The main changes will be the use of a new high-level structure, Annex SL, which will bring greater consistency to new management system standards. Key changes are likely to include more emphasis on the concept of risk management, a requirement to involve and secure more engagement from senior management, which needs to be implemented into the organisation's business strategy, increased strategic consideration of your organisational context. This basically relates to understanding the internal and external issues and the needs and expectations of interested parties. Reinforcement of the needs to demonstrate and understand compliance status at all times and the use of performance indicators to track improvement throughout the system. It's really important to remember that you don't have to do anything until the new standard is published and that won't be until 2016. If you are currently certified, you will need to monitor the changes, talk to your client manager or assessor, Consider the integration opportunity that Annex SL presents with the existing management systems. PAS 99 provides an ideal framework to help organisations integrate their systems. Start to make senior management aware that changes are coming and a transition plan will need to be developed and resources required. And consider purchasing the draft for public comment when it becomes available. If you are currently developing your system, continue working towards certification under OSAS 18001. BSI will continue to issue certificates until 2016. The transition period is likely to be two or three years, giving you time to move your business to the new standard. From now until the release of the standard in 2016, BSI will be helping you to navigate your way through the changes by providing transition guidance documents for you. To ensure your management system remains compliant and robust, BSI will be keeping in touch with you regularly through email, through white papers and through webinars. You can register for priority updates by visiting the 18001 revision page at our website. Our customer care team as well as client managers and sales teams will be happy to talk through the timings for assessment visits and durations. The new international standard is still three years away with publication not expected until 2016 and OSAS 18001 is still relevant to organisations. Health and safety risk is an important issue that organisations need to manage and they can't afford to put this on the back burner until the publication of the new international standard. Once the standard publishes, organisations will have a period of time to make the transition and BSI will support our customers through that process.